Welcome to the Toolbox. This is Will, and today I'm here to explore two functionally identical hand axes. These are billed as camping or sportsman axes, and they're both from Estwing. This is the Protestant. This is the Protestant axe. This is the Catholic axe. And I don't mean that uh, with reference to any theological instances. I actually mean that purely from a focus of liturgy. So this is from Lowe's, often also found at Home Depot. It has a uh, polymer handle that gonna, is gonna have some, some perks. And then this has a leather wrapped, beautiful handle. You see the, the fancy, really pretty metalwork. So what's interesting about these is you can see here that in their sheaths, they are a very similar profile. You can see that they're, about an inch long. This is sold from the link that is in the, the product description below or the, the description below. This is purchased on Amazon as a 14 inch axe. This S Twing is purchased at Lowe's as a 9.5 inch axe. It sure feels like they're about the same to me. But let me unsheathe these and let's talk about the benefits. Let's kick off our conversation with the Protestant. So true to all Protestants, there's not a whole lot of focus on style and decorum, but a lot on function. So what you get in this is you're gonna have a, a polymer handle that is going to effectively reduce the vibrations as you're chopping. Now remember, this is a hand ax, not a full size ax. So if you're splitting wood, this isn't your, your go-to. This is really a lightweight, side axe that you're going to hike with so that you can take some small branches off trees uh, and not a whole lot else. What I like about both is that you're going to have this, this mallet back as opposed to some of the tactical axes have like a spear back. I, I don't favor that. So this is great for uh, killing ants really aggressively or driving in a tent peg. And then the Protestant version of this S-Wing axe actually has a notch here that is especially use, useful for getting under the curl of a, of a tent peg and pulling it up. So you can drive your tent pegs, you can pull your tent pegs, you can otherwise pry, and you can chop. Now out of the gate, this catches the finger. It is actually quite sharp, which is impressive. Uh, my daughter, loves this one, thinks it's beautiful, which is quite interesting because both I and my son find the other ones be more beautiful. But if you're not concerned about aesthetics and you're really just looking for function, you can't beat this S-Wing Camper Axe. Like all high liturgy traditions, you've got an aesthetic beauty here. Let's just see this leather wrapped handle and it's just leather and metal. Both of these axes are full tank, meaning it's a, it's one piece of metal from the tip to its toe, from the head all the way to the base, and then there's a handle wrapped around it. On the Protestant, on the on the sport of the camper's axe, we've got a polymer handle. On the uh, the sportsman's axe, we've got a metal handle. Now, while it is beautiful and while it is nice and grippy, this is also a smaller profile. The other S wing it fits in the hand a little bit better. And you know that that polymer is going to absorb the blows a little bit better. Another thing that I would point out is that this, this one does have the mallet back. It does not have the tent peg. So while you can still pry and chop and smash the devil out of some ants, you're not going to have that additional functionality. That's, that's not a huge deal, but but it does add a little bit of functionality. Uh, something that I, I would note here, you see this is off square. <laughs> so I don't know if that was an intentional decision from Estwing to kind of cultivate the handmade aesthetic, but this is off square as opposed to in our, in our beautiful blue, it is perfectly square. Uh, another thing to note is that, and this is, was ordered and fulfilled by Amazon, but out of the box, we are, relatively dull to touch like relatively we also have a little bit of nicking in the blade and then substantial chatter and nicking in the blade here so out of the box needs a little bit of work but beautiful timeless kind of the thing i would hand down to my son 
like kind of the thing you keep in the family versus beautiful blue it's functional but let's face it one generation it's it's run its course and it's in the dumpster as far as their sh sheaths they are functionally identical functionally identical and they both have the strap to attach neither one of them is going to be a really clean easy release from the sheath so once it's buttoned it's it's in there and the blade is always going to catch on the front of the sheath so in order to get it out you have to do this little push the base down to angle the blade out and this is true for both of them they really are functionally identical in that regard so two nearly identical axes in terms of cost in terms of weight functionally uh, the the leather wrap is a little bit lighter for me it really comes down to i like the story of the lit liturgy i like the story of this axe it's not as functional it's a tad lighter i think that it's going to need some more work like sharpening out of the box but if you value comfort if you value utility and tacticalness you can't go wrong with the s-wing camping axe as for me and my house we're going with the trade we're going with the craft we're going with liturgy so we're going with the leather wrap thanks for tuning in go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification button so you are aware of all of our new videos and if there's a side-by-side -side comparison or a review that you'd love to see us do comment and let us know and if you have a thought on one of these let us know